Hello and welcome to Acute Medicine 3. Uh, this is the question uh, video. Uh, just as a reminder, there are three quizzes uh, currently on Moodle. Uh, they're not in any particular order and they all uh, uh, cover a wide variety of acute medical topics. I'm James, the Acute Teaching Fellow at the Royal Free Hospital and this is a quiz primarily aimed uh, for UCL Year 4 or those review, uh, revising uh, for acute medicine. So similarly to my other quizzes, there will be images, lab results and ECGs and the answers will be on a separate document. Of course, this isn't timed, so you can pause the video at any time. Here we go, let's begin. Question one. A 73 year old has a cardiac arrest. On rhythm check, a systole was observed and chest compressions were restarted. How many chest compressions should you aim to do per minute? A, 80 to 100 per minute, B, 90 to 110 per minute, C, 100 to 120 per minute, D, 110 to 130 per minute, and E, 120 to 140 per minute. Question two. A patient is admitted to acute medicine due to decompensated alcoholic liver disease. He asks you about liver transplantation. What is the single most appropriate response? Is it A, they must abstain from alcohol for six months at least? B, cardiomyopathy is a major determinant of outcome? C, most patients start drinking again after transplantation? D, one year survival is around 65% and E, he is not eligible if aged over 60. Question three, a GP refers a 28 year old to acute medicine with weight loss. A full blood count is taken. The results are below. Which is the single most appropriate next test? HB 120, and the normal values are in brackets. White cell count, six, platelets, 100, MCV, 90, neutrophils, three, lymphocytes, 0 0.2. Is it A, Epstein-Barr virus serology, B, varicella zoster virus serology, C, cytomegalovirus serology, D, human immunodeficiency virus serology, or E. Treponema pallidum serology. Question four, which is the single most important factor when assessing a patient's capacity? Is it A, the ability to communicate the decision by any means possible? B, be able to retain the information for a set period of time? C, the patient's formal education slash intelligence? D, a mini mental score of over 27. E, the severity of any dementia. Five, on the next slide, there is a chest X-ray. I'd like you to review the chest X-ray and decide what is the radiological diagnosis. Pause the slides until you have decided on your diagnosis. Is the answer A, advanced tuberculosis, B, severe acute respiratory distress syndrome, C, advanced primary lung cancer, D, multiple lung abscess, or E, advanced metastatic cancer? Question six, which of the following is not part of the National Early Warning Score? Is it A, Glasgow Coma Score, B, respiratory rate, C, temperature, D, heart rate, E, oxygen saturations. Question seven, a 26 year old female presents to the emergency department. A chest X-ray shows left lower lobe pneumonia. A calculated CURB 65 score is zero. She has no allergies. Which is the single most appropriate treatment? Is it A, Oral amoxicillin, 500 milligrams TDS or three times a day. B, oral doxycycline, 100 milligrams twice a day. C, intravenous amoxicillin, one gram three times a day. 
D intravenous coamoxiclav 1.2 grams three times a day or E intravenous coamoxiclav 4.5 grams three times a day. Question eight. A 76 year old was admitted to the acute medical unit with a week of diarrhea. Her bowels open four times a day. She recently started a new medication. On examination, she was apyrexial, had a resting tremor in the right upper limb. Her blood pressure was 134 over 78 with a heart rate of 74. There were no peritoneal signs. Which single medication is the most likely cause of her diarrhea? Is it A. Bisoprolol, B. Cocaroldopa, C. Omeprazole, D. Paracetamol or E. Simvastatin? Question 9. A patient is referred by his GP with a rash, which is shown on the next slide. He recently had a cough. He is systemically well. What is the single most likely diagnosis? This is a picture of the rash. Uh, pause the video and study it until you think you have a diagnosis. So with question nine, is it A, syphilis, B, meningitis, C, autoimmune disease, D, a drug eruption, or E, a paraneoplastic disease? Question 10. On the following slide, there is a chest x-ray in both a PA or postero anterior view and a lateral view. Review the chest x-ray. What is the radiological diagnosis? Pause the video here until you've studied the x-ray and think you have a diagnosis. Is it A, lung cancer, B, perforated stomach, C, aortic aneurysm, D, pneumonia, E, hiatus hernia? Question 11. An 85 year old woman is admitted to acute medicine with confusion. A chest x-ray is performed. The consultant says she needs a specialist review. Which is the single most appropriate specialty the patient needs referring to? On the next slide, there is a chest x-ray. Uh, pause it and study the chest x-ray until you think you have an answer. Is the specialty A, orthopedics, B, respiratory medicine, C, neurology, D, cardiology, or E, infectious diseases? Question 12. A 70 year old collapses at home. Her husband calls an ambulance and she is immediately brought to the emergency department. She has a plain CT head, which is normal. She has a dense hemiparesis. The emergency room FY1 rings you for advice. Which is the single most appropriate information you should give? Is it A, refer to hyperacute stroke unit for consideration of thrombolysis? B, administer 300 milligrams of aspirin rectally? C, request an urgent MRI head? D, repeat the CT scan with contrast to exclude intracranial hemorrhage? Or E, administer low molecular weight heparin? Question 13. Which of the following is not considered a reversible cause in cardiac arrest? Is it A. Toxins, B. Tension pneumothorax, C. Trauma, D. Thrombosis or E. Cardiac tamponade? Question 14. On the following slide is a 12 lead ECG. This is a 69 year old man who was referred to the acute medicine unit due to palpitations for the past several months, which are getting worse. Review the ECG and decide what the ECG diagnosis is. This is the ECG here. Pause here until you have an answer. So is the ECG showing A, sinus rhythmia, 
B, atrial fibrillation, C, second degree type 2 AV block, D, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, or E, second degree type 1 AV block. Question 15. The same patient on examination has a heart rate of 120. The blood pressure is 160 over 90. There are no audible murmurs. Thyroid function tests are normal. The acute medicine registrar asks you to suggest a management plan, which is the single most appropriate management plan. Is it A, commence oral bisoprolol, apixaban and discharge back to GP? B, commence oral bisoprolol, warfarin and admit? C, arrange DC cardioversion? D, commence oral digoxin and aspirin, and E, commence oral amiodarone and warfarin. Question 16. Which of the following is not an adverse feature when managing a tachy or bradycardia? A, hypoxia, B, syncope, C, myocardial ischemia, D, shock, or E, heart failure? Question 17. A 25 year old male presents with feeling generally unwell. He also reports sharp and central pain. It's worse on coughing, deep inspiration and lying flat. He says only sitting forward makes the pain better. An ECG shows widespread ST elevation. What is the single most appropriate initial treatment for his chest pain? Is it A, percutaneous coronary intervention, B, thrombolysis, C, aspirin, D, prednisolone, or E, high-dose non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs? Question 18. A 40-year-old female is referred with acute severe right upper quadrant pain. The pain radiates to the back and the scapula. She is nauseous and vomiting. She weighs 110 kilos. What is the single most likely diagnosis? Is it A. Dissecting aortic aneurysm, B. Biliary colic, C. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, D. Myocardial infarction, or E. Hiatus hernia? Question 19. An 85 year old woman is admitted under acute medicine after multiple falls at home. Her ECG is normal. Her medications include aspirin, bisoprolol, fruzamide, and simvastatin. She has mild aortic stenosis. Her haemoglobin is 110 grams per litre. There are no other findings on examination. What is the most appropriate next step? Is it A, urgent echocardiogram, B, 24-hour tape, C, CT head, D, lying and standing blood pressure, or E, tilt table testing? And finally, question 20. An eight-year-old is admitted under acute medicine. She had a lateral myocardial infarction and is commenced on antiplatelet therapy low molecular weight heparin, bisoprolol and a statin. At 4 a.m. the nurse is called 2222. When you arrive, the patient is on high flow oxygen, airway is patent, SATs are 90% on 15 litres, her respiratory rate is 40, BP 150 over 90 and a heart rate of 130, which is regular. There are widespread crackles on auscultation. You perform an arterial blood gas, which shows a type 1 respiratory failure. What is the single most appropriate next step? Is it A. Debutamine, B. Continuous Positive Airway Pressure or CPAP, C. Repeat Troponin Test, D. B-type natriuretic peptide or BNP test, or E. Insert a nasopharyngeal airway. 
So that concludes uh, the question section. The uh, video uh, with the answers will follow shortly. Remember that there is now a, a Q&A section on the acute medicine Moodle if you have any queries. Good luck.